By now, I'm sure you've seen the video of NBA player Jalen Brown sitting with WNBA stars Kaiser Gondrasic and Angel Reese having a conversation about Bronny James. Jalen Brown turns to Kaiser and says, I don't think Bronny is a pro, to which she responds, I think he'll be on a G League team for sure. And Brown retorts, because of his name, he's going to be with the Lakers. Now, while I think you'll be hard pressed to find anyone who disagrees with him, I do feel a little bit bad for Jalen Brown that he was outed by this cameraman. And I haven't heard if LeBron or Bronny responded to Jalen Brown's comments in any way, but Bronny's agent did make a statement, and I actually think it's pretty admirable. I saw some stuff that came out about Jalen Brown. You can take everybody's opinion and try to turn it against them or think he's a bad person. No, they have opinions. They can say what they want. At least he's someone who's actually in the league. There are a lot of experts with no expertise. He's actually an expert with expertise. So if he has an opinion, he can have that opinion. But I know Jalen and I know he doesn't mean it with any malice. He was just having a conversation. It's just the world we live in today. Why would he think somebody would be videoing him saying anything? This was honestly a great move by the agent in my opinion. It kind of takes some attention off Bronny. It gives credit to Jalen Brown as a player who has kind of earned a reputation in this league, especially after his NBA Finals appearance and victory this season. And it kind of takes the microscope off a little bit and lets the flames die down in what could have been a bigger deal. And I also think the agent knows that Jalen Brown is right. As it stands right now, Bronny in the NBA is a disaster for Bronny. I get that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, father and son getting to play together, a father of the magnitude and greatness that LeBron has, a son who is never going to compare to LeBron, but at least has a chance to follow in his footsteps in some way. But the ironic part is, I think the way it's set up is actually a curse for Bronny. I've been outspoken in the past about jumping to irrational conclusions before athletes have had a time to prove themselves, but I'm going to do just that. I think Bronny's NBA career is as good as over before it starts. As it relates to Bronny's professional career, I think he would have been much better off staying at USC, developing a little more for two to three years, and then trying to come to the NBA. Because as it stands right now, he is obviously ill-prepared for this journey. And I know summer league stats are probably not the best indicator of future success, but let's take a look at them so far. I compiled these stats in probably the most rudimentary way possible. I'm sorry, it's a little bit hard to find summer league stats, so this is the best we can do. As you can see, he's played in four out of the six Los Angeles Lakers summer league games, averaging 22 to 29 minutes in those games. On field goal attempts, he is 7 of 31, shooting at 23%, including 0 of 15 on three-pointers. Across four games, he's averaging about four points a game, under four rebounds, under two assists, and under two steals. Now compare that to just about any other summer league starter, and these statistics are pretty awful. And it doesn't help that every camera is pointing at him because he's LeBron's son. In fact, if you go to the ESPN page of any of these games, the first video you're met with is a highlight of Bronny. Bronny hits a layup. Bronny does something else mediocre. Obviously, the public's attention is on him, and I don't think that's a good thing for him. I think the best case for Bronny James right now is he rides this father-son duo parade for a year, waits for his dad to retire, and then tries to build up a reputation through basketball in the G League and then hopefully in the NBA. But I fear that once his dad retires and he has no more coattails to ride, he's going to be outmatched and outclassed on the basketball court. So could Bronny have actually made a name for himself in the NBA? A name that does ultimately pale in comparison to his father's, but still a respectable one? I think his best chance for that would have been staying at USC, developing his game, and entering the league naturally, not off of the back of his father's legacy. My prediction for Bronny, and probably the most likely outcome, is he goes and plays overseas. Or his dad joins a coaching staff and brings a son along. Either way, I'm willing to admit that Bronny's NBA dreams are as good as over before they start.